Well, bright sunshine, beautiful skies, spring warmth, not a bad day to start the week. Let's see what else is on tap the rest of the way. Hey, Kate. Hey, Yuki. Yeah, we've got a couple of really nice days to look forward to. If you like today, you will love tomorrow. Tomorrow's kind of a carbon copy, a copy and paste kind of day as temperatures surge to 70 once again. The only difference is less wind. Today was a little windy. Tomorrow, not as much, and that'll help a little bit. Tonight, though, you can see clouds have started to roll in. It's currently 60 degrees at the airport. It's still very mild. Clouds tend to keep it warmer, actually, through the overnight hours. Kind of the opposite effect that they have during the daytime. During the day, clouds limit the amount of sun, keeping us a little cooler. At night, though, any of that escaping radiation from the Earth's surface as it cools kind of gets trapped by the clouds. And so a cloudy night tends to be a little warmer than a clear night. So clouds have rolled in. The reason for that is a weak disturbance that's moving through the area tonight, bringing cloud cover and a couple of sprinkles. The winds are still there. It's a north breeze at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Not bad. The winds have certainly diminished from earlier today when we had sustained winds of 15 to 20 and gusts even higher than that. And here's the system that's bringing the clouds. You can see a couple of scattered showers trying to push into the western part of our region. Lancaster and Berks County seeing a couple of sprinkles here. Can't rule out a few rolling through overnight, but likely by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, these will be out of here. It is, though, a bit of a split week. Most of the work week is quiet, but then a shift just in time for the weekend. Quiet and mild to start near 70 degrees Tuesday. A late week pattern shift, though, as a big upper level storm system approaches. Showers return by Friday, and then we're going to enter into a pretty unsettled pattern, a period of unsettled weather, really, that may take us all the way into next week. So future weather as we go through the day tomorrow, you can see overnight clouds, a couple of spotty sprinkles. By 6 or 7 a.m., this is clearing, and tomorrow is a beautiful day. Lots of sun, clear skies. It is mild, about 10 degrees above average once again. There's another week disturbance coming through overnight tomorrow night, and this one will actually have a better chance of producing a few morning showers on Wednesday. This is 8.30 a.m., a couple of showers for the morning commute. Then it does gradually clear out. It'll be a little cooler Wednesday, and an east wind is going to pick up midweek down the shore, and that'll keep things cooler along the coast. But Thursday is another dry day. As we get into the later part of the week and the weekend, though, that's when things begin to shift. So tonight is cloudy, a stray sprinkle, 44 degrees. Tomorrow, full day of sunshine, a beautiful day, not as windy, nice and warm. This is the best day of the seven-day forecast. It's never good when the best day of the seven-day forecast is the first day of the seven-day forecast. Here's the problem. Here's this big upper low. You can see the swirl moving through the Great Lakes. Shower chances early Friday. More numerous showers on Saturday. And then Sunday, it's looking like we may even get a period of just some steady rain. Suffice it to say, starting Friday, right through the weekend, it's going to be cooler and turning a bit damp. So tomorrow, enjoy it while it's here. Wednesday starts with a shower, then sun in the afternoon. Thursday looks nice, and then... Things start to go downhill. Clouds and a stray shower Friday, a few showers Saturday, chance for some rain on Sunday, and even Monday will be hard pressed to break out of those clouds. So, Yuki, tomorrow, that's the day. Mm -hmm. Get outside if you can. We'll do. We'd say enjoy it while it's here. Yes. We'll do. All right, Kate, thank you.